In the uh, Unix world, there are a few little tiny little niggling inefficiencies that seem to plague all of our programs and don't seem to be going away anytime soon. And one of these is the classic cat bad.c and piping it into word count dash l or something like that. Where instead of doing this, you can instead just do word count dash l bad.c and you'll get the same result. And you'll even get a little printout here to tell you what the file name was that you just summarized because that's apparently useful. But in programming languages like C, there are a certain few pitfalls of performance like this here, which really annoy me when I see them. Because not only does it suggest a fundamental misunderstanding of what Strelen is actually doing and how C strings work, it's also one of these things that can really, really stop your application from benefiting from some of the scalability that comes from the good design part of C strings. So, in the programming world, there's basically two types of strings. There is the C string, and there's the other types of strings that I always forget the names of. Pascal strings, I think they're called. And so, C strings are called uh, sentinel-based strings. And what they do is they store all the characters, and then right at the end of it, it stores a 0x0. Zero zero. Or it stores, uh, you know backslash zero or whatever the C program has decided it should be. And um, so essentially all that's happening is C is going to look through this string and the end of the buffer is marked by a single byte which is 100% zeros. It's pretty simple. And the reason behind this was actually because the original machine that C was designed to run on, the PDP-8, uh, had a built-in data type that the processor understood called ASCII-Z or ASCII-Z. And basically this would mean that the processor would cycle through a, a buffer of ASCII bytes until it reached a byte which was 100% zeros, an ASCII null. And this sing signaled the end of a C string. Pascal strings, on the other hand, instead actually store the length of the string as part of the string data type itself. And this is what Go does with a string header. It's actually what Microsoft Excel does, and that makes it quite fast when it handles strings and things like substrings and string lengths. C, however, unfortunately, is unable to do things such as string concatenation and accessing the length of a string without an O of N cycle time. And that's what brings us on to Strelen. Strelen performs a full cycle through of the entire length of the string on each invocation. According to the C standard, you're not allowed to memorize it or anything. This has to be a, a full O of N cycle through of the string each time it's called, and that means that every single time you call strulen unnecessarily, you are throwing away performance. And so every time I see a loop like this, all that you're doing is, you're basically performing this loop and then you're performing this exact same loop but inside a function call every time you do it. So I'll tell you what exactly what exactly is happening every time you do this. So we get to the first character, okay, and we get to zero. And so what we do now, because we've got to the zeroth character, we cycle through the entire length of the string. We have to go, okay, this is our zeroth character. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, limit of And we have to go all the way through until we get to the null by at the end. Then finally we're allowed to perform the next phase of the loop, which puts this character onto our TTY. And then we get to the second character, which is actually character 1, because C is 0 indexed. And so that's an H. So we get to H. Oh, wait, we have to check the length of the string. And so we go back to T again, and we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, until we get to the end of the string. And so every time we perform this loop, we're actually performing this loop twice. So rather than actually performing this loop in O of N time, which should be how this is done, instead we're performing it in O of 2N which is technically still O of n, but this actually, it won't be O of n 2n, it will be O of n squared, because you're actually performing this for every single one of these, every single one of uh, these uh, iterations on the loop. So for this one it's n, this one it's n, and because each one of these is an n, because n is the length of the string, this makes this algorithm O of n squared. You've now successfully made a loop which simply cycles through a string, an O of n squared algorithm. Congratulations. That's terrible. And as you can see, uh, if we just run this with TCC, this runs fine. There's no problem with this at all. But this is terrible. If you ever see a loop in a C program which has a simple counter and it goes from the beginning of the string right to the end of the string using strlen, 
you have a bad program on your hands and you need to fix it immediately. So how do we actually fix this? Well if we create good.c quickly and uh, we hash include standard IO and I'm actually going to not include the strings header file. And let's uh, okay, well, what we're going to do, this is going to be something magical, okay? For char, uh, let's make it a pointer, char pointer c equals test c, and this is, and this is going to implicitly insert c does not equal null, and we're going to do c++, plus plus. and this should be the value of c, this should be the value of c, and uh, this remains the pointer. Uh, we need to make this const, and then... So unless I'm a bad C programmer, this will do the exact same thing. These are exactly the same program, but one of these is infinitely better than the other, because this one understands how C strings work. This one runs in O of n squared time when it's not even doing any processing. This is one of those stupid little inefficiencies that comes of not understanding the tools that you're using. This is one of those things that really motivates me to just want to make my own C tutorial. In fact, I think I might actually do it because this is something that should be being written on a daily basis. This should never be written. Strulen, if anything, is a really harmful routine because it gets you thinking that you're not allowed to know what's inside of a C string. You're not allowed to treat C strings just like blocks of memory. You have to interact with them through stupid, like, abstraction routines that are placed in the string header file. I hate the string header file. A lot of the routines in it aren't even very useful. The only time when the Strulen routine is ever useful is when you aren't cycling through the loop anyway. Let's say, for instance, you need you need to transform each character uppercase anyway. Let's put it in this uh, in this file so that we can use the existing loop. So let's say you're doing this, okay? And let's say as well that for some reason we need the uh, length of the string. So the length of the string, first of all, unless you really, really, uh, unless you really, really need it, is something that you shouldn't really be using anyway because the length of the string is something that generally is only useful if you're allocating blocks of memory or something like that or if the user needs to know the length of the string but uh, the length of a C string is defined by the null byte so if you're cycling through it do not use strlen so uh, what I was saying was basically if you're already cycling through the string to get the length of it don't use strlen that's another that's just another useless cycle through the loop now, one of the funniest things that I've ever seen in a piece of C code is someone who had a loop like this, and then they had printf, uh, and then they had length of input is, and then guess what they wrote? Get, get, just pause it. Guess what they wrote? They wrote strlen, and then the string again. That's yet another cycle through this string for no reason. And what's my warning here? This should be a uh, pretty simple. So, in other words, you should be trying to rid your code bases of strlen wherever possible. This is a horrible routine. It's horribly designed. Well, well, I guess it's not horribly designed. It does what it says on the tin. But most of the code that uses it is horribly designed. You need to stop using it. Uh, this code here is actually what will do the job quite well. And uh, strlen does not do what you think it does. So we could slightly we could slightly optimize this. This, this is kind of the saving grace I guess of some people. And this is that they uh, they will uh, they will do strlen once and then they'll assign it to a variable and then they'll cycle up to len. There's no use in doing this because well you've already cycled through the loop and then you're cycling through again. You're only doing it once now so now it's just o of 2n rather than o of n squared which is obviously just o of n but Still, this is better. This is so much better. Uh, there are very few situations where you need strlen. If you're using it often, you probably need to rethink your code so that you can write code that is going to run faster and it's going to be more scalable as well because an important downside of this actually is that if the string is longer than 2 to the power of 32, which, you know, uh, 
is this number. It's still pretty large. I think it's actually minus one, so... Uh, you know, this value is... I could have done that in my head, but that's not visual enough. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, you know, the in the if you have a string larger than this value, which, I don't know, is possible, the, the default sequence editor on Unix can handle putting the entire works of Shakespeare through it, and it can handle putting the whole thing to lowercase. And you know why? Because it understands how C strings work, and it understands how C input buffers work. So it just cycles through until it gets an end of file. It doesn't do a strlen call unnecessarily to sum up the characters in the works of Shakespeare only to throw the value away immediately. Because the sequence editor is a well-written program. Okay? If you're using strlen a lot, you need to stop it. It's bad for you. Strlen considered harmful. 